You know, have you, have you ever wondered how filmmakers actually get these buttery smooth shots over the reef or over a wreck or any underwater scenery without having any camera shake? I mean, like, no camera shake whatsoever. Even when they swim at faster pace, there's no camera shake. So how do they do that? And every time you try to swim from point A to point B and it's a long distance in between, your shots are always shaky, no matter what you do. I wrapped my head around this one for quite a long time actually, and I finally found a solution that works for me. Welcome to the Underwater Filming Tips series. My name is Vanessa Karakea and this is episode number... No, actually, this is not an episode. This is actually just a quick tip. We're gonna try to keep this video short. And this quick tip is gonna be about how to film smooth flybys or swimbys underwater. In episode number two, we talked about the buoyancy of your underwater camera housing. If you haven't checked that one out, the link is above. Of course, your camera setup has to be perfectly buoyant and you as a diver should be perfect with buoyancy as well. But there's one more little detail that's gonna make a big difference. So let's dive right into it. We all struggle how to get smooth shots when we're swimming longer distances underwater. The camera is perfectly buoyant, you are perfectly buoyant, but still the footage is all shaky. So what can you do about this? You can get an underwater scooter, you can get an underwater drone to do the work for you, you can use a submarine if you have one, you can use the current to bring you from point A to point B, that actually works pretty well. But let's say you don't have any current and any submarine or underwater drone or scooter or whatever. How do you get smooth shots? And here comes the quick and easy tip. Use free diving fins. Why do I need free diving uh, fins? I'm a scuba diver. Okay. And what's wrong with my heavy duty uh, fins? Uh, nothing is wrong with I have with to travel it. with another pair of fins now. No, just, just because I want to get it, ooh, it made smooth a big shots. difference for me. Just try it well, out. I'm not it's, a free diver. I mean, and I've got, got my videos, boots, so, and know, I've got my fins, and why do so I need the free diving fins? Okay, now, okay, okay, on, okay I'm, go going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Free diving fins. Try it out. Free diving fins don't just bring you smoother footage. They are so much fun to swim with. The speed you can achieve with those fins is just unbelievable. I mean, of course, you have the friction of the tanks and your BCD and all the equipment that you're wearing and the camera and everything, but, but even then, it is worlds apart to the old fins that I was using. So the old fins that I was using, I, I used them for ages. But when those babies appeared in my life, things changed. So here you can see the difference in length between the two. Now these are not the longest ones you can get. You can get longer ones, of course. And with those fins, you can actually swim pretty fast underwater and still get smooth shots. Because when you're doing one of these reef flybys or over the wreck or whatever, you don't want to bore your viewer to death. So you don't want to take your time and swim like one minute over the reef. Of course, you can speed it up in post, but any little bumps that you have in there, you're going to increase the visibility of those bumps when you speed it up in post. Try to get the shot at a decent speed. I usually aim for like, like 10 seconds. So I actually count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I won't start counting right away. First few seconds you usually get set up and then I will start to count. And then also when I finish with the shot and film for a few seconds more just to have a nice smooth beginning and a smooth ending. So at the end, you have this nice smooth shot in between that you can cut out. Just try it out. It's gonna be so much fun for you and it will definitely make a difference. And the reason for this is because these fins, they are super soft and long. So the motion underwater when you're swimming is a lot smoother. You glide a lot more than when you're using the other fins and you're paddling or you're doing your your frog kick, it's just a totally different feeling if you're using those free diving fins in comparison to the other fins. And if you're using heavy duty fins like these ones, that's not gonna give you any smooth shots. The movement is just too hard. So you transfer all of that movement to your camera that will result in camera shake. Whereas with these fins, it's just a smooth movement. 
With freediving fins, it's like every piece of equipment, every piece of dive gear or camera gear or anything. It's a huge choice in freediving fins. And the way I went about it was I ordered several ones. I just tried them out. So at the end, I just got those that fitted my feet best and that didn't hurt. I think they have a soft blade. There's different hardness of the blades. You can get longer ones. These are definitely not the longest ones. I just took some that were in the average price range. They, you can get them in carbon fiber as well. Uh, these are plastic ones. It just depends what you want to spend. Maybe you can just go to your local dive shop and then just have a chat with them and just see what they recommend. And if you're always freezing and you have cold feet like I do, then you can buy these neoprene socks. Just be sure to try the socks with the fins together to see that it fits. And as I mentioned, there's nothing wrong with the other fins, like with my dry suit fins here. They're great for dry suit diving because you want to have a bit more heavier fins. For that, they're super. I can get really good static shots with those, so I can actually just hover and get really good shots or just panning shots. But moving shots without camera shake, that's really not doable with this. At least I can do it. So I'm not really sure if you can use the freediving fins with a dry suit. I haven't tried it out yet. Maybe you can get freediving fins that have an open heel like those. If you know any freediving fins with open heels, please leave a comment below. I'd love to try it out in the future. And another benefit of using these long fins is if you have current, you can fight against it a lot easier. So do I now only use those fins? Well, it depends. When I go night diving or I use a tripod or I'm in intricate reef structures or in any sensitive environment where I have to move in tighter spaces, then I will definitely use my old ones because I don't want to damage anything underwater. But since I've bought the free diving fins, they've been with me on every trip and they will definitely be on every trip in the future as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and I'd really like to know how many of you are already using these freediving fins as scuba divers. And if you know any freediving fins for dry suits, just leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Safe diving and I will hopefully see you in the next episode.